are right, shall amen. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Kafadash, and double honors unto the apostles, the elders of GMS, the rule world, teach world, for being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessings and salutations and hope to let out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity and prosper full of wins in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the whole collect of believers and listeners who maintain back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and what I want to get into today, you know, is the law and the prophets, you know, dealing with how uh, Yahweh Shah, you know, he embodies it all. Okay, and this this misconception is special amongst uh, Christianity, you know, and they feel as if yeah, um, who they call, all right, um, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, you know, they push the narrative as if he came and boarded out, you know, in the Old Testament. Nah, he was here to fulfill. Okay, and even with the law, as he fulfilled the law in that lifetime for him to be that perfect sacrifice. It wasn't for the law to be done away with. It was for us to have a grace period to where we wasn't, you know, um, judged by the law. Okay? But we were still required to grow in righteousness, man, which the law is included in it. Okay? And there's a portion of the law that we can keep to the best of our ability. And that law enhances, okay, us as a people. And it puts us on the level. It gives us structures as a people. You know, that's why you're going through the true falls of Yahweh Shai, you know, and as we rehearse the right to the X and we keep a portion of that law to our best ability, all right, we begin to operate and function, you know, as, as, as a government, man, in order with structure, you know, it produces peace, it produces efficiency in how we move, along with the, the, the rest of the wisdom, you know, and the practical wisdom in the scriptures, man. All right, so as you go um, to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse um, 17, okay, and this is the GNT, you know, um, I'm going to read a little bit out of here, all right, um, it kind of explains it, you know, in, in a clear way, all right, but once again, the disclaimer, you know, when you read the GNT, you do the cross-reference, you know, with the KJV, you know, to make sure that it's on point. Okay, with the interpretation, you know, and then we, you know, got overall guided by the spirit to interpret these things, you know, so just be mindful when reading the other translations, you know, because they can kind of scare off and try to interpret it in another way. Okay, but this is Matthew 5 and 17. It said, don't misunderstand why I have come. And this is how I shot speaking the Messiah. All right. Don't misunderstand why I have come. It isn't to counsel the laws of Moses and the warnings of the prophets. No, I come to fulfill them and to make them all come true. Okay? So Yahweh Shai did come to counsel out the law of Moses, make void the law. Okay, ultimately, which is the law of the Most High. It was given to Moses. He was the mediator of the first covenant to give to the people. Okay? So Yahweh Shai did come to counsel that out. Okay, and uh, for people to, 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 to do as thou wilt, you know, but then just call on Jesus Christ and, and be good. Nah, man. Okay. I say he came to fulfill that law for him to be that perfect sacrifice acceptable to the Most High and that we can have a grace period to grow in righteousness, man. Okay. And then he didn't counsel out the, the prophecies of the Old Testament, you know, because a lot of our teachings. You know, we deal with the prophecies that haven't been fulfilled in the Old Testament, man. Going into uh, America, you know, being, all right, um, uh, Babylon, okay, spiritual Egypt, okay. The Third World's War, you know, which you read about in Joel, okay, Ezekiel 39. You see, those things haven't been fulfilled and we're warned, you know, for our people to get right before these great judgments come. You know, this is one of the main things that we warn about to come is, all right, Jacob's trouble, if that hasn't been fulfilled, which is the book of um, Jeremiah, 
Okay, Daniel speaks about the tribulation that's going to come that's been worse than any tribulation. Okay, so we speak about all these things, these warnings, okay, of the Old Testament that hasn't been fulfilled yet. Okay, but Christianity, you know, and Esau even pushes as if we're beyond everything in the Old Testament. Nah, man. Hey, the worst part of the Old Testament is yet to come, you know, which is that uh, uh, World War Three, which is going to lead to the, the nuclear annihilation of America, okay? And it's going to lead to a lot of, all right, death in the earth, man, okay? So, let's go from there, because I say a lot of people think that Yahweh Shai Okay, or the Messiah, you know, they think of him only being relevant, starting at the book of Matthew, okay, but he was always, he's come to the volume of the book, There's the spirit of this book is the spirit of Yahweh Shah, all right, the theme of the scriptures is Yahweh Shah, you know, and that's how the Heavenly Father set it up, so when you go to the book of John chapter 5, okay, and you read verse um, 45, it said, yet, all right, it's in the GMT, St. John 6 and 45, uh, not so lucky, St. John 5 and 45. It said, yet, it is not I who will accuse you of this to the Father, all right, Moses will. Moses, on whose laws you set your hopes, all right, on heaven, okay? So, Yahweh Shah was letting them know, all right, it's not me that's accusing you. You can go into the books of Moses and you're accused. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai, all right, was spoken of in, okay, uh, uh, the Old Testament. Okay? He was spoken to come. You see? He was spoken to be that, that, that mighty king. Okay? He was spoken to be that conqueror. I'll say he was also spoken to be that sacrifice, man. Okay, so as they was rejecting Yahweh Shah, it was the wicked, the wicked leadership of our people back then, and you see they're back today doing the same thing because calling on Christ is ultimately rejecting Yahweh Shah. Okay, but then those main people that call on Christ, what do they boast in? The law, the law, the law, the law. Well, you go into the law, you're condemned first by the law itself, but then the prophecies that are within these laws, man. It condemns you because it points to Yahweh Shai. Okay? So there's no getting around Yahweh Shai when dealing with this book, man. Okay? Verse 6, it says, For you have, verse 46, uh, St. John 5 and 46 says, For you have refused to believe Moses. He wrote about me. But you refused to believe him, so you refused to believe me. And since you don't believe what he wrote, no wonder you don't believe me either, man. Okay? And these guys go into the law, the law, the law. But wait a minute. When the law of great was brought out, everybody bugged out. Okay? So, wait a minute. You really don't believe, even if you boast in the law, but you don't believe in everything in that law. Okay? Like, you got the law is a system. And you got to believe that that's the, the best system to run a nation with. Okay? Because in the kingdom, we're not going to have to deal with, you know, uh, you know, Israelite women, okay, being grapes. You know, that happened back then. But how are we going to govern the other nations when that happened? By their law. You see, they talk about the law of the law, but they do it from a fairy tale standpoint. Keeping, keeping the law in America, that's from a fairy tale standpoint. Keeping the whole law. There's a, they're going to say there's a portion that we can do and we do it to the best of our ability and we grow in it. Okay? But this mindset of keeping the whole law in America is a fairy tale mindset, man. Okay? But when we really get into the reality of this, when we really talk about living this thing, then Jake get, Jake bug out. Joke that that westernization starts spewing out, man. But wait a minute. I thought you was all about the law. But when we go into it, uh, you know, Jake turning to your auntie, man. Okay? So let's go here. 
Got one more is Matthew 24 and um 32. All right, it's saying in Matthew 1. Uh, the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 24. Because Yahweh Shah is coming, you know, he's going to fulfill the rest of everything that hasn't been fulfilled, man. You know, before the kingdom. This is on uh, Matthew 24. And, um, let's see. I'll do 32. It says, Now learn a lesson from the fig tree. When her branch is tender, and the leaves begin to sprout. You know that summer is almost here. Just so when you see all these things beginning to happen, you can know that my return is near, even at the door. And see, Yahweh Shai left signs of what would be happening before his return. Okay, and guess what? These things coincide to the Old Testament, man. You know, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. Uproars of the people, commotions, earthquakes. Okay? <laughs> you see? Uh, Egyptian versus the Egyptian. That's in the Old Testament, man. So the things that Yahweh Shah was speaking on, you know, he's going to give Egypt over to a cruel Lord, which you see the government of America is becoming extremely cruel to the people. So these signs that will be happening, you can find them in the Old Testament as well. They're not just com confound, all right, confined to Matthew the 24th chapter, Luke 21st chapter. Nah, man, they all throughout the book. Okay? So the only way to truly understand your Howard shot, you have to tie in the volume of the book, man. Okay? And the spirit of your Howard shot is what? Prophecy, man. So if we see these things happening, man, we know that the spirit of your Howard shot I mean that your house shot is getting closer to the earth, man. You know, we in that time. All right. It says verse 34. It says, Then at last, all right, at last, this age will come to its close, man. Okay? And we in the time where in America and Esau Edom supremacy is about to come to a close, man. Okay, your house shot is gonna close this thing out, man. Okay? So that's the point, you know, Lord will, you know, you brothers, you know, and you sisters edified to the next time I say Shalom, going now Shalom, Baal, Baal, Shalom.